Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maka here playing Elden Ring and I'm going to show you something that you can do very early on in the game that will make it quite a bit easier and that is attain the flask of wondrous physic. This is a reusable flask that can be customized to suit your playstyle. This is something that you can probably grab within the first hour of the game but unless you know where exactly to look, it's possible that you can play for tens of hours without finding it. Now the first step I would recommend is is just progressing through the game and heading north from where you start until you get to the gate front ruins. There you can defeat some enemies and grab a map fragment as well as rest at the gate front site of grace where you will be gifted Torrent, a horse that you can now ride around to make you travel around the map much faster. Next, what we want to do is head east until we cross over the water and then head north and follow the path until you end up at the third church of Marika. There might be some enemies on the way here and I would probably just ignore them unless you're comfortable fighting them. There will be a site of grace here that you can rest at to add it at your map. And inside is what we're looking for, the Flask of Wondrous Physic. You will also unlock a Crimson Crystal Tear when you pick it up. You'll now be able to take this flask and mix two crystal tears in the flask to create a custom elixir with custom effects. But we will need at least two crystal tears, so let me show you a few locations. But before we leave, make sure you also pick up the sacred tier in this area, which can be used to upgrade the potency of your regular flasks. From the third church of Marika, you can follow the path that heads south, and in the distance you'll notice a minor Erd tree. On your way to it, you'll also find your next map fragment, and after you pick that up, approach the minor Erd tree, and near the base of it, you will find a well, and inside you will find two more crystal tiers, the green spill crystal tier, and the spiked cracked tier. The last one I'll show you in this video is easily accessible from the site of grace that is northwest of the gate front. This site of grace is called the Stormhill Shack. And upon resting here, head directly northwest. Feel free to use Torrent to get there more quickly. Here we'll see this kind of golem ogre dude, which we will ignore for simplicity's sake. But he's pretty easy to take down, and you can get a decent amount of ruins for doing so. But nearby, there will be another well. And inside of that well, you can find the strength not crystal tier we now have four of them although there are plenty of more for you to discover in the late game to mix and match for custom elixirs depending on the situation at this point just rest at your favorite site of grace in the menu choose mix wondrous physic and then choose the two crystal tiers that you would like to use inside of your potion once they are mixed up, make sure you add this item to your quick inventory just so you can pop it whenever you need it and you are ready to go. This will refill every time you rest at a site of grace and will be exceptionally useful for bosses, especially as you can fine tune them for each and every single boss. And if you do die at a boss, you'll just respawn with the flask being filled again. When you do use the flask, you will see all of its effects being updated into the top left corner. And there will also be an effect on your character in many cases, which you will see visually wear off over time. Getting this done early on is very advantageous. For example, having more strength will allow you to defeat a boss much faster and having more stamina will allow you to block more and you'll be able to progress through the game at a much more rapid pace this way. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Special thanks everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. I'll see you soon. Peace.